eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Right, hi guys. On this video, uh, I'll be sorting out the brakes again. It's taking longer than what I uh, expected to. So I've looked on a lot of sites and there's not a lot of information out there regarding Audi TT brakes. Um, so hopefully this will be helpful to yourselves. Um, I'm not ready to unlock it now, but these have had new calipers on it because the old ones were seized. So they've had new discs, new pads and new calipers. So I will be bleeding the brakes, which I'll show uh, later on. If not, it might be part two to this. Um, as you can see, new handbrake mechanism. The other one was seized. And this is the handbrake cable. Now on this side, it, uh, that little ball there fits on it perfectly. Not a, not a problem. But on the other side is where I had the issue where the cable will not reach that, which I'll show you now. Right, as you can see, on this side, sorry about the light guys, the sun is shining today. Uh, this, I can only pull it back so far because it's really tight now with new pads and this doesn't reach. This is the other part, the handbrake. So what we need to do is slacken off the handbrake um, for it to reach this. Because I, what I believe the system is like self-adjusting. I don't know whether that's true or not, I don't know. But there's a way of resetting the handbrake for it to go back to the way it was, which we need to do because we've had new discs and pads. Uh, so the wear is going to be the same on both sides, and it's like starting fresh. So we need to do that now. Right, so to adjust the handbrake on an Audi TT Mark II, I believe the mechanism is under here. So what I'm going to do now is, because the handbrake is off and I still can't get that to fit, so hopefully I'll take this apart now and have a look under there to see where the handbrake adjust, adjustment is on this. There is literally no you, uh, YouTube videos out there to research, only what I've read online on forums. So hopefully this will help you guys in further for when it comes to doing something like this. But normally when you have new discs and pads, this is what you should be doing anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do now is take this little tray out and see what's behind it. So I'm using a screwdriver. Um, you can get them little plastic uh, wedge tools which will get in behind the plastic without damaging it. I haven't got one of them so I'll just be as careful as I can without damaging anything. And it should. This is the first one. I'm open. Be gentle guys when you're doing this. No, no need to be too rough with things, especially when it comes to plastic clips, because when they snap, they'll just be loose and then floating around in the back. Right. Hopefully. Right. right. In in here there's two clips. There and there, we need to undo these to get this out out of the way so we've got more room to work on. So, just as always, just be very careful when removing clips as they tend to snap. Right, what we need to do now is this little tab. Yeah, just need to push it up. That'd be awkward. A lot of room in the back. And out it pops. So that frees up that. Yes. You can put that one side. <coughs> Excuse for coughing. That's the luna. Right. Now we fill up. Right. 
uh, just to show you this is the mechanism which holds the two cables in place all right to adjust it you need to adjust that there to the desired length you need and then clip the cables back up so now I've taken them off this side I didn't have an issue with but I don't know whether you can see the other side it's there somewhere yeah it's all the way up there this is the issue I had because this is the longer cable and shorter at the brake so what I'll do now is I'll pull that cable to length hook it onto the brake caliper and then adjust this to the desired length that I need all right right like I said the issue I had is I couldn't pull this onto this now that I've slackened off the handbrake I should be able to just pull this enough That is on there, okay? So now the handbrake is on. I need to adjust it in the car. I'm just gonna check to make sure the other side hasn't come off. The other side is still on. Lovely stuff. So we can adjust it now in the car. To adjust it where it is. Right, so in there, have we can see it in there what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to adjust that there I was hoping to free up some space to do it but I can't get in there and I don't want to be ripping the dashboard apart just for this so I will undo it there then I can get these back on tidy that fit on the end there is a 10 mil so I'll try the ring end on it. The ring. Not fitting. It's just really difficult to film, guys. Sorry. I just... On, on uh, the Freelander, it's all easier to get to. This is ridiculous. It's like baby tunes. Right, that's what I've done, is put the wires back on after ages of adjusting this bolt. That's what I'm doing now, is tightening it up a little bit, take off the, to take the slack up. So obviously we don't want these cables popping off or falling off. So, and if you look at that now, the way that sits, is sitting both from exactly the same length as well. I don't know if you can see that, let me move out of the way. As before, one was longer than the other, so they're both starting off the same. Now... Still stretching that one side more. So obviously that cable stretched there more. Tighten that up a little bit more. I gotta say, guys, this was uh, the smallest place ever to work in. Ridiculous how much room they give you to work in these cars. Right, the next thing, I'll put all this back, but I won't put all this. 100% yeah, until I know the handbrake is holding properly. Because it should be only a couple of clicks. And that's quite a few clicks there, so this will have to be tightened up quite a bit. But what we don't want is the handbrake rubbing either. 
So we're gonna, next thing now is bleeding the brakes quickly. And so there's no air in the system. Top up with some fresh and then go back to this to make sure the handbrake is working correctly and the brakes are working. So join me in a minute. Right, what I want to do now is just, if you look there, I need to empty some of the brake fluid out of there so we can put new in. So I'll be pumping it out of this, into this bottle, and then topping it up fully. Before that, I'm going to put some cloth around there because obviously brick fluid is really, really corrosive and could damage your paintwork, so we don't want that to happen. So I guess we'll roll around there now. Yep, So that's what I've done is making sure that none of this brake fluid tips all over the car, all over the engine. And we don't want no uh, dirty debris, debris getting in there. Right, this is my, that's all I'm going to be doing. Let's just pump in some of the old fluid out. We can top it up as a new. Two seconds. Now we've successfully drained much. Look, dear, look at the colour on that. Right, I've got some new brake fluid. Not ideal, but it's fluid nonetheless. Because at this time, we can't get everything we need. Brake fluid here uh, from Wilkinson's, a local brand. So brake fluid dot for 500 ml. I know this is a bit overkill, but uh, it's just a way of not making sure that it doesn't tip everywhere. And I'll fill it up quite full, so because we'll be bleeding the brakes. I've obviously filled it quite high now because it'll be draining a bit from, from the car, right? Nice. Alright. Now, I've just devised a way of draining the calipers with this little system. For this to work, yeah, for this to work, you're going to need a little bit of pipe bottle like so but the pipe must be at the bottom and you must have some fluid in there in the bottom as well to uh, stop air circulating back up okay so that goes in like that and what I do now is this end will fit onto one of the nipples <laughs> carry on <laughs> 
on, and one of the when this end then will fit on a nipple and <laughs> then when I'm pumping the brake it should drag through any air and also bring through new fluid <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do next um, when you do um, do the brakes just make sure that the bottle is positioned higher than the caliper like so <laughs> Also, this you can do this on your own as well. Right, in there. So that's where I'll put. All you need to do now is just crack open that nipple. A couple of turns. Obviously, my 13 year old son finds nipple funny. It's bubbling. As you see that, there's more, more air coming out. So I will. Quite a bit actually. What I'll do now is I'll give her another couple of pumps. Yeah, now we've got to do the front right. And you do them in sequence like that. Thank you. With the front uh, wheels, hopefully you can get away without um, taking the wheel off by turning the wheel out, so we can get to the nipple. <laughs> so we can get to the nipple. <laughs> sir. Right. And my colleague here will hold the bottle as well. And then you just keep an eye on the bubbles. Right, so I've um, <coughs> bled all the brakes, all four corners, uh, no, so there's no air in the system. Top the fluids back up again. Uh, so it looks like everything's good to go. So we're just going to put the last wheel on and see how we get on. There, there, there. Cover on it. We'll overdo a change to a nice fresh fluid in there. Look at these. Down brakes on at the moment, and that looks almost level. So it's not going to get much better than that. But obviously, this this is stretched a lot more on this side without replacing the old cable. I'm not going to get on the same. I just hope now that the, the calipers will release and they work. Right, so let's take this uh, baby out for a little test drive but uh, before I do it I'm just gonna make sure that's solid right I haven't uh, finished off with the armbrake yet I'll leave all that off and I might have to adjust it so let's see if she pulls off the drive Right, let's test drive this. Brakes are solid. Right. And brake down. Let's see if this baby moves.
Oh, she moves, all right, all right. And she stops. You see she holds on the handbrake. It's still pretty loose. I'm gonna have to see about adjusting that handbrake so it's a bit tight that on the poles because you could end up ranching it right up and stretching the cable. <coughs> it's holding lovely on there. So in there is how you adjust the unbrake cable. Now let's uh, get all the bits back on and adjust that a little bit more to stop it coming up. Uh, I would say, unless that's a trait of an Audi, more than about three, four clicks. That's way more than I like it to be, but. And let's have a look in the back. That cable. Yeah, it's definitely stretched on that one side. I don't know if you guys can see. Sorry about the dodgy kind of camera angle. It's definitely a little bit longer on that side. Only a bit. Back. It's not sticking. So that'll do me. Right, so let's take this baby out for a test drive to see how the brake handle and let's see if there's any noises or you hear any noises. And hopefully we've cured all of the rattles and bangs and there shouldn't be any more issues. Like we've replaced the brakes, the front discs and pads and in the back. So Missed. Hopefully there'll be no knock again. Obviously you're going to have some sort of grinding because the new pads. They work. They seem to work. Drive a minute. Pulse, yeah. yeah. So if you like like my channel, please like and subscribe to it for more videos coming soon. So that's how we repair an handbrake and discs and pads on the back. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light... Which is